Hi everyone, Goldie here. So today we are going to talk about a couple of ways to do live streams and some of the products that I use behind the scenes to do a super effective live stream. Let me know, of course, in the comments if these are interesting to you and other subjects that you'd love me to cover. I hope that this is helpful for you to hear and let me know if you are doing your own first live stream. And this is of course sponsored by Switcher Studio. They are what I use to do all of my live streams. And if you want to get a free month, use code Goldie at checkout. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through my basic setup, including how I literally get down and prep for doing live streaming. And that's, I have two circle lights here and I'll go a little bit more into depth in them a bit later. I have my iPhone set up, and then I have, of course, my laptop. So what I like to do is I run my live streams through my secondary device, which is my iPhone, and then I stream using my computer's camera, and sometimes I'll, of course, upgrade and use a nice Logitech camera but for right now, I want to show you a super simple setup. And in fact, the most simple setup of all is to stream directly onto your iPhone. Now here I have a great tripod. So normally if I'm streaming directly onto the iPhone, I like to have headphones that are wired. And the reason why I don't use my amazing AirPods is because when you are doing live streaming, there are so many other factors that already make it difficult for having a stable connection, having strong Wi-Fi. You want to be really careful to eliminate any risk factors. So to me, having AirPods in, they'll cut out frequently, etc. So during a live stream, I like to use wired headphones. Now, I'll show you really quickly what it looks like when I'm, of course, wired into my amazing iPhone. It's super simple. This is the exact setup that I use and the exact tripod that I use. And you can use any three-legged stable tripod to do this with. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. But also what I'm going to do to show you really what my setup is, I have a nifty doodad here. And what this allows me to do is plug in not only my headphones, but it also lets me plug in the power. So if you are running your live streams off your iPhone, this is super helpful to be able to have your um, iPhone, your mobile device plugged into power because live streams are, not surprisingly, very draining on a mobile device. And so from here, all I have to do is just adjust to the right height. And once I have it on the right height, then I'll usually adjust my two circle lights. to make sure that the lighting on me is optimal. And I do the same thing if, for example, I'm going to be live streaming directly from my computer. You should always check lighting after you've sat in exactly the place that you know you're going to be sitting in. Now for fun, of course, I'm using this microphone. Normally I'd be lagged up or I'd be using headphones, but I think it's kind of fun using microphone like we're on a little talk show together. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this really quickly. So now you get to see the little doodads that I use in order to be able to live stream off of my iPhone. Once again, I use wired headphones because it's going to be more stable. Okay, so for my laptop setup, I'll do essentially the same thing. I like to make sure that it's plugged into power I know these are very basic things, but they're very helpful when you are thinking about doing your first or your seventh or your 200th live stream. So first I am going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in 
my wired headphones. And I'm going to show you a more complex setup in a bit, but once again, this is the easy setup. So now I'm plugged in with my very tangled <laughs> headphones because I use these all the time. And the reason why I like to have this, I like to, if, especially if I'm streaming, because I'm not streaming from a desktop, I'm streaming from a laptop, I like to keep it raised so that way it doesn't overheat. Super important things to think about when you're doing live streaming. Okay, so now I'm live streaming on my amazing, amazing uh, laptop. And this is the second simple way to think about setup. So I'm running everything from this iPhone, this mobile device. So I'm adding on overlays. I am going ahead and changing the lower thirds whenever I have guests on. And the reason why it's nice to have two separate devices too, because I tend to live stream on LinkedIn. And with LinkedIn, you have to go onto LinkedIn directly to pull comments. So on my laptop, I can go ahead and look at comments for the live stream as they're happening. Pretty fun. Okay, so this is the basic setup. The next thing that I'm going to do is show you a little bit more of a complex setup. And once again, I want to point out that one of the things that I am doing is I have my setup by a window because natural light is going to help with lighting overall for your live stream. Now, this is a slightly more complex setup. You can, of course, use it with just regular wired headphones or get a really nice headset. The reason why I've set it up like this is that this microphone is great if you're, say, live streaming a course or something else that needs that very high quality sound. And this, of course, is a sound guard that helps when you say words like popping. So it pops less in the audio. And once again, this is just a simple Yeti microphone, nothing super fancy. And you can definitely get this or a much nicer one at your local electronic store. And this is a level two setup. Now, there is so many other levels you can do with live streaming, having a proper mixer, having a more integrated setup, but I wanted to show you just what is the slightly next level up. Okay, so now we are truly sitting behind the scenes, seeing what lighting looks like directly on camera when you are doing a live stream. Hi everyone, Goldie Chan here. Today we're going to talk about something that I've already covered in a Forbes article. So as always, I hope that this video was helpful for you to understand some of the basic equipment, basic setup that I have going on to do my LinkedIn Lives using Switcher Studios. Now, the reason why I love Switcher Studios, and this is sponsored by Switcher Studios, of course, is that if they make it so easy so you can just stream directly off of your iPhone and or your iPad and you don't have to bother with a second device if you don't want to. So your live streams will look exactly like this. Thanks again for tuning in and I'm so excited to share more creative, helpful tips for getting you launched on live streams today. Bye everyone.